The origin story of Melchizedek As depicted in the extended version of the second book of Enoch In the days of Noah, when wickedness was great in the earth Noah's brother Ner was a priest in service of the Lord The wife of Ner was Sopanam who was of old age And in the last days of her life Sopanam was barren and had never given birth to a child Ner had not slept with her since the day he was appointed to conduct the liturgy for the people. However the Lord saw fit that she should conceive a child. When Sopanam saw her pregnancy she was greatly ashamed and hid herself away for 282 days. No one knew of the pregnancy, but as the day of birth approached, Ner thought of his wife and called to her. Sopanam came to her husband and behold she was pregnant with the day of birth drawing near. Ner saw her, was ashamed and said, O oh wife, what have you done? How could you disgrace me in front of all the people? Depart from me, return to where you disgraced your womb. I do not want to defile my hands on account of you and your sin. Sopanam replied, O oh Lord! Look at me! I am in my old age and the day of my death has arrived. I do not understand how the barrenness of my womb has been reversed. Ner did not believe his wife, and said for a second time, Depart from me, or else I might assault you, and commit a sin in the eyes of God. After Ner said this, Sopanam fell down at the feet of her husband and deceased. Ner became extremely distressed and said to himself, Could this be because of me and my words? Merciful is our Lord for my hand was not upon her. The Archangel Gabriel appeared to Ner and said, Do not think that your wife has died due to your error. The child which is to be born from her is a righteous fruit and one whom I shall receive into paradise so that you shall not be the father of a gift from God. Ner ran from his house, slamming the door, and went to his brother Noah. Ner told Noah everything that had happened, and both of them returned to Ner's house. Sopanam's body appeared lifeless and dead, however her womb was still contracting and giving birth. Noah said to his brother, Don't be sorrowful Ner. Today the Lord has covered up our scandal. None of the people know about this, so let's quickly bury her and be rid of our shame. They placed Sopanam's body on the bed wrapped her in black garments, and closed the door. As Ner and Noah left to secretly dig the grave, a child was born from Sopanam's dead body and sat on the bed at her side. When Ner and Noah returned to bury Sopanam they saw the child sitting by her side cleaning himself. Ner and Noah were terrified and struck with great fear because the child was fully developed and spoke, praising the Lord. The brothers looked at him closely and said to each other this is from the Lord, the glorious badge of the priesthood is on his chest. Noah said, God is renewing the priesthood from blood related to us. Ner and Noah hurried to wash the child, dress him in the garments of the priesthood and give him bread which he ate. They named him Melchizedek. Ner and Noah lifted up the body of Sopanam, removed the black garments and washed her. They clothed her in extravagant, bright, colorful garments and built a grave for her. Ner, Noah and Melchizedek then buried her publicly with the honor she deserved. Noah said to his brother, Take care of this child in secret until the proper time comes, all the people of this age are growing treacherous and turning away from God. Having become completely ignorant they will put him to death when they see him. Noah returned to his home. And as time passed there came a great lawlessness which became abundant on the earth. Ner began to worry greatly for Melchizedek saying, What will I do with him? Ner stretched out his hands towards heaven and called out to God, Eternal Lord, it is miserable for me that lawlessness has become abundant over all the earth during my lifetime. I realize how much closer our destruction is because of people's lawlessness. What is the vision about this child? What is his destiny? What will I do, so that he does not join us in our destruction? The Lord took notice of Ner, and appeared to him in a night vision. God said to him, Ner, 
I will no longer tolerate the wickedness that has come upon the earth. I plan to send down a great destruction to cleanse the earth, but do not worry for the child. In a little while I will send my Archangel Gabriel who will take the child and put him in the paradise of Eden. He will not perish along with those who must perish. As I have revealed, Melchizedek will be my priest to all the holy priests. I will sanctify and establish him, so that he is the head of all priests in the future. Nera rose from his sleep and praised the Lord. Saying, Blessed be the Lord, the God of my fathers, for he has approved of my priesthood and the priesthood of my fathers. By his word the Lord has created a great priest in the womb of my wife. I have no descendants, so let this child be my descendant and become as my own son. Counting him as one of your servants and honoring him as an archpriest. Melchizedek will be head of the priesthood in future generations. I know that great confusion has come, within confusion this generation will come to an end, and everyone will perish. Except for my brother Noah who will be preserved for procreation. From Noah's tribe will arise numerous people and Melchizedek will guide those royal people to serve God. When the child had completed forty days in Ner's home, the Lord said to the archangel Gabriel, Go down to the earth, to the home of Ner the priest, and take the child Melchizedek, take him to the paradise of Eden for preservation. For the time is approaching when I will pour out all the water onto the earth. Everything on the earth will perish, then I will raise it up again. Melchizedek will be the head of the priesthood in future generations. Gabriel rushed and flew down to Ner's home in the darkness of night, while Ner was sleeping. Gabriel appeared to Ner and declared, The Lord says, Ner. Restore the child to me who I have entrusted to you. Ner was confused and did not realize who was speaking to him. Ner said, The hearts of the people are deceitful, when people find out about the child, they will seize him and kill him. Ner replied to Gabriel, the child is not with me, and I don't know who is speaking to me. Gabriel answered, Ner, do not be afraid. I am the archangel Gabriel and the Lord has sent me to take the child. I will go with him and place him in the paradise of Eden. Ner remembered his dream and believed Gabriel. Praising the Lord he said, Blessed be the Lord who sent you. Bless your servant and do with the child as you have been instructed. That night Gabriel took the child Melchizedek on his wings and placed him in the paradise of Eden. Ner woke in the morning and did not find the child. Because he felt the child was his, there was great joy and grief for Ner. The Lord said to Noah, Make an ark that is 300 cubits in length, 50 cubits in width, 30 cubits in height. Put the entrance to the ark in its side and make it two stories in the middle. The Lord God opened the doors of heaven. Rain came onto the earth and all flesh died. Noah fathered three sons, Shem, Ham and Japheth. He went into the ark in his 600th year. After the flood, he lived 350 years. He lived a total of 950 years as the Lord wills. To God be glory. Now and eternally. Amen.